Today guys, we're gonna show you how to build an awesome three tool sawhorse bookcase. One of the questions we get all the time is what tools do I need to buy to start building furniture? And we've narrowed it down to only three tools. A miter saw, a brad nailer, and a drill. We have great news. We're launching an ebook. Click the button up at the right and get it now. And enough talking, let's get building. Here's the material that you need for this project. Four two by four by eight, three one by six by eight, and two one by four by eights. You also need sawhorse brackets and some screws. First thing you need to do is spray paint those brackets. Those can dry while you start making your cuts. But this is so fast to build that it needs to dry fast. Fair. For step number one, you're gonna need tool number one, your miter saw to make all those cuts. Build it. Perfect. Okay guys, we have made all the cuts for our bookcase and we are gonna take this over here and get it assembled. A little tip for assembling the ladder, sandwich two shelf pieces between the two two by four so that you get the perfect distance between each side. And wouldn't it stink guys if you got the whole thing built and you went to put the shelves in and they don't fit? That's never happened before. <laughs> okay guys, we are making the measurements for the ladder support. We spaced our first rung 11 and a half inches from the bottom of the two by fours and the other ones are all nine inches apart. But you don't have to memorize all that. You can go download the ebook. For step number two, we're gonna need tool number two, the brad nailer. Now attach the rungs to the two by fours using wood glue and your nailer. Our two ladders are built and now we're gonna attach the sawhorse brackets. And this is super easy. You're just gonna, I turn it sideways because it's easier to slide the bracket on. Make sure you're doing it at the top of the ladder, not at the bottom where we have the 11 and a half inch gap. You're just gonna slide it over that two by four. And then we're using small hex screws to attach the sawhorse brackets to the piece of wood. And speaking of hex screws, you must have tool number three to attach them, the drill. Now it's time to put the topper on top of our bookcase. We're gonna use a two by four and sandwich it in between the two brackets on the top. Open up the ladders and then we're gonna secure it with screws. Voila. The shelves are made with one by six. We're starting from the bottom, working our way up. You just slide them into the perfectly spaced ladders. To attach these slats, we're using our brad nailer again and you're just going to right where these rungs are that we attach. Just gonna shoot a nail right into there and then again on the back side. You know, Ash, if you look at it just like that, that's like an A shell for Ashley. Yeah, it is. So I feel like we need to build another one for, with the W. Flip it upside down. Where it's happening. Ashley, this is a really cool design. Thanks. Put it up. Done. All we need now is stain. The beauty of this three-tool sawhorse bookcase is that it's not a boring bookcase. That's right, you can put anything on it. It's cute for pictures, baskets to hold toys. I can think of lots of things to put on it. You could even put two together and do one long shelf on the second one and make a desk. Mind blown.